What's up guys, it's Daz here, but you don't really care, as it's time for another video. And what should it be about? Well, screenshots again, because there's not much more to talk about, and I've basically talked about everything else, and I expect Nintendo's gonna release something new at PAX, if that's what PAX is about, I don't really understand it. But anyway, new screenshots, there are stuff that I missed, and you guys have told me about it, so let's go through the stuff and the bonuses, and there'll be other stuff I'll mention. Let's begin! So the first picture, you can see the icy area and all that. Well, it also reveals a dirt wall in the water as well. In the background, you can just see a little corner of it. This could mean that there is an alternate path around the electric gate. However, this would depend on if the water is electrified. If it is, then this dirt wall would be inaccessible until yellows destroy the electric gate or the power supply of it at least. Alternatively, maybe you first find this area before you meet the yellows, so you are forced to go the dirt route and have to return later with the yellow Pikmin to unlock the other path, which may lead to a certain collectible or another cave of some sort. Or maybe bold men make a return in the game and are somehow able to brave the surface, or at least reach this place. With these companions, the electric gate and the water combination would be no hassle whatsoever. Now, I got quite a detailed message from a guy who calls himself the President of Pikmin, and in it, he mentioned the following. There are two possibilities for the pond, icy and not icy. Now, if it isn't icy, then the wog poles obviously wouldn't be there, though we are dealing with Nintendo logic people. Unless these wog poles age into a slightly new variant of opponent, the electric Wally Wog. Oh boy. Now, if the pond is icy, the only way for the wog poles to survive would be if the ice is only prevalent on the top few centimetres of the water, leaving the wog poles untouched because they can still swim underneath it. If this is the case, there will only be a thin layer of ice to walk on. It is possible that Character Ray's trait is that he is the lightest of the bunch. Also, yellow Pikmin are stated to be the lightest Pikmin, so uh, you connect the dots to that one. Oh, and the Whiptown Bulbob's colour scheme resembles the hairy Bulbob, just saying. So, thank you President and all others who offered their ideas. The second picture reveals more too, I bet you didn't know that. <gasps> Firstly, in the background there appears to be a base of a pellet posy, or at least that's what many have identified it as. We still don't know, it's kind of small so you can't really tell, but it's very possible. It also might hint the timeline through the suits. They are equipped with whistles, meaning that they must be aware that the Pikmin are on this planet. So maybe they arrive after Olimar's adventure, or at least they feel they need a device which can be used as a safety function if there's a crash landing or some other danger. Oh, and apparently character B is now pink, not red. And you know what that means. Wait, is she red or pink? I, I, I can't tell. Can you confirm that, people? Because I can't. You know why. Alrighty, that might also encourage the return of Olimar somehow, because he is the Red Captain. We know he's going to appear somehow, but maybe this just encourages it. So yeah. And the third picture. Obviously it remains a mystery, but the background could also resemble some indoor area. Maybe you are given more access to features such as buildings of Hogate, or maybe you can find some building-like structures on your journey. As for what the device is showing, maybe it is a video made by character B as an SOS call, and it's part of the plot as character A. So find and save character B and continue with your adventure with her. This picture might also reveal more of the backstory of the new characters. The fact that this device is new may suggest that it's not from Hokate, since Olimar and Louie were never given this machine. Then again, their boss is this guy. Still, maybe the icon in the middle is the logo of a rival company and each of the new characters are employees to this rival company, or at least character Ray is, since we've only seen his version of the device. Speaking of characters, I mentioned the possibility that each character has a specific trait. For example, character C's massive arm spam could make him a stronger member of the crew. It is also suggested by quite a few of you guys that character Ray's trait could be the role. He was the only character who was playable in the demo, and the move was available then, so it's very possible, because we haven't seen any other characters do it, I don't believe. However, not many people did suggest a trait for character B, but I thought of some ideas myself, and by that I mean she could be the camera wielder. Ooh, fancy words. Maybe if she is some kind of biologist, she may want to document all the creatures on the Pikmin planet. If capturing an enemy onto a camera is used to add them to the Piklopedia, then maybe this could confirm the character trait. But if this is the case, what is this? Clearly this is designed for character A specifically. So, maybe I'm wrong? 
Now, remember a while ago, I mentioned that each character's suit design may correspond to a Pikmin type. Well, clearly, Oliver and Louis represent the red and the blues. The president could represent both purple, because of his figure, yellow, because of his backpack, and possibly black, because of his suit, which matches Olimin's colour. So, character A may represent cyan Pikmin. Character B may represent pink Pikmin. Character C may represent green Pikmin, or rock Pikmin, it's his figure again. So, what does that leave for character D? If he's purple, if he's purple, then the president is just black and yellow. Don't even say it. But if he's not, what is he? And on the topic of character D, notice how the reveal of each character has always been in the correct order alphabetically. Character A was revealed instantly in the demo and the trailer. Character B was there too for a moment, along with a basic model of who I guess is character C. Then, ca character B was properly introduced in a Nintendo Direct footage, and now we've reached the images that expose character C. So does that mean that the next reveal will feature character D? And if not, maybe the next? It would make sense. Still not quite sure about that Miyamoto quote though. Miyamoto. He recently announced that there was going to be some computer graphic animated Pikmin shorts, and upload them on Nintendo Video. I'm not sure what that is. Um, I don't know. If if I don't know if that means on the 3DS or their Nintendo YouTube channel, but I guess we'll find out one way or another. Apparently, they'll be releasing shortly before Pikmin 3 is released, one of which apparently features Olimar appearing to kill Pikmin by chopping them up, but it's later revealed he's just chopping up Pick Pick Carrots back at Pocket 8. No Pikmin are actually harmed, just mortally petrified. Sounds cool, right? And actually, we've already seen one footage of such shorts. It was shown to us at an intro to the Pikmin 3 announcement at E3, and because I'm a nice guy, I'll show it to you. Now. <laughs> Mr. Miyamoto? Yes. Right? And if they're all going to be as good quality as this, then DANG these are going to get popular. They also said that if it becomes popular enough, they may even consider selling them. So, who knows what will happen. Will it reveal more of Pikmin 3, or will it just stick to Pikmin 1 and 2? What are your thoughts? Anything else I missed on the screenshots? Feel free to say. And what else should I talk about that I might have not mentioned? Like future enemies, which I can't talk about yet because we haven't been given enough information. But you know what I mean, I've talked enough about timelines and Pikmin types, so what videos would you like to see next? Because I don't really know what to make until Nintendo reveals something else, so uh, on that delightful note of your interactivity with this channel, my name's been Daz, you didn't really care, and I'll see you in a bit.